Everybody knows that my favorite food is the sweet potato. So today I'm going to show you one of my favorite ways to actually cook them. And that is by roasting them to sweet perfection. So all you need to do is, you know, cut and peel your potatoes, toss them in some oil and some spices, and you're good to go. So I'm just going to show you my favorite way to do that. So since these potatoes kind of look a little roughed up on the outside, I'm going to peel them to start. You can keep the skin on them if you like, you can peel them, it really doesn't matter. Just keep in mind that the skin does have a lot of fiber, so by peeling them, I'm gonna miss out on a little bit of that. Great, so now that you have your potatoes nice and peeled, we're gonna cut them into cubes. Wonderful, so we've got our cubed potatoes. Make sure that they are all around the same size. So you don't want any like ginormous pieces and then some little tiny pieces because then they won't cook evenly. It's so funny, like depending on how you cut them, it seems like it changes the, the taste for some reason, I don't know. We're gonna be roasting these with some oil. Today I'm using coconut oil, which I think is my favorite type of oil to cook sweet potatoes with because it's got that nice sort of tropical coconut flavor and with the sweet potato, something about it just brings the flavor out, I think. It's so good. So just drizzle those of your potatoes and then we're gonna give them a nice toss. And I also have a spice blend here. I've got it all separated now so you can see it, but I'm gonna be adding some cinnamon, smoked paprika, black pepper, sea salt, and a teeny little bit of cayenne pepper. This is going to make the sweet potatoes so much tastier and just like addictive, literally. <laughs> It smells so good. So yeah, I'm just stirring this so that when I pour it over my sweet potatoes, it will be, um, all the spices will be evenly distributed as opposed to <laughs> just one at a time. Because one sweet potato might just taste like straight up smoked paprika and the other one might be like straight spicy or straight salty. So now they're all blended, all my spices, so I can just pour them over, give them a toss. You're gonna do it a couple times to make sure everything is evenly coated. These already look amazing. So yummy. And they smell so good. And with the coconut oil, oh, it's amazing. So I'm gonna pour these right onto this uh, baking sheet. I lined it with parchment paper because that will prevent it from sticking. I find that if I use aluminum foil, it does stick. So parchment paper is definitely the way to go when roasting any of your vegetables. And you just wanna make sure they're evenly spread out, not all clumped together or on top of each other, because that will allow them to each, you know, roast on their own time, with their own heat, do their own thing, okay? So these are gonna go in the oven. I've got it already set to 350 degrees. I like for my sweet potatoes to get really caramely and bring all those sugars out. So I tend to, if I'm roasting it low at like 350, I tend to roast them for like 30 to 40 minutes. Um, you, if you want them to cook really fast or get really crispy quickly, you can take that heat up to like 375 or even as high as 400 degrees for the same amount of time, about 30 minutes. And I guess I can just wait here until they're done. <laughs> Not really. I'm gonna probably go and uh, in, answer some emails or uh, have something else to eat in the meantime. <laughs> Let's see how our sweet potatoes are doing. So they've been in there for, ooh, they're nice and soft. They've been in there for about 40 minutes, like I said before, and they made my parpet smell so, so, so delicious. So I'm just gonna transfer these to a bowl and eat them. So these are full of flavor and I just like to eat them as is. I don't add anything else to them. Um, <laughs> so it's kind of like a snack or a side dish for me. Mm. The most delicious food in the world is my favorite. <laughs> but of course you can add beans or grains or greens or herbs or whatever. And you know what? That brings me to asking you, what is your favorite way to make sweet potatoes? I'm so curious because I know how versatile this one vegetable can be. I actually have a whole sweet potato playlist which you can find right here. Check it out. 
So, I want you to share your sweet potato photos with me, your dishes that you make with sweet potatoes, whether it's something sweet or something savory. Post that on social media, Facebook or Instagram, and make sure that you hashtag sweet potato soul. That way I'll be able to find it and see what you're up to in the kitchen. Thanks for watching. See you next time.